This is a story a lot of people are talking about today. The future of getting around the strip could be underground. That is, if the convention center's proposed people mover project is successful. The LVCVA has chosen Tesla founder Elon Musk's boring company to build the project under the Las Vegas Convention Center. It would connect the roughly two mile span of the four convention halls in time for the Consumer Electronics Show in 2021. Our Patrick Walker is live outside the convention center tonight with a closer look at how this would all play out. Patrick? Well, hi there, Denise and Brian. Yeah, think about this, the idea of tunnels getting bored underneath, whether it's here in Las Vegas, whether it's underneath the convention center or up and down the strip to McCarran Airport. Yeah, at first glance, it does seem a little bit far out there, right? Well, the head of the LVCVA telling reporters today that pending approval by the full board next week and construction permits, construction work out here could begin in just a few months. We're, we're excited today. A major uh, announcement from the LVCVA. Elon Musk's boring company will be tunneling under the convention center. The innovation and, frankly, the fun that goes along with that, we think it'll be an attraction in and of itself. The system would be a series of tunnels for autonomous vehicles looping underneath the convention center. There would be roughly 100 cars, possibly like this one, in the system, which could handle between 4,400 and 11,000 convention goers an hour. Convention goers like Vladimir Klimovich. So, if there was like the chance for having cars down here, I think that will be like faster for us. Depending on the final design, it's expected to cost between 35 and 55 million dollars. If it's successful, the LVCVA wants to see it connect to a bigger line running through the strip corridor to McCarran Airport. I mean, it makes sense. Kelly Glass is one of the up to 15,000 visitors per hour anticipated to use it. He says it's badly needed. Very congested, a lot of traffic. Everything's disconnected. When I saw the monorail system, I questioned why, why this didn't go to the airport. The larger system would operate similar to an Uber or Lyft. You request a car for a particular destination, it shows up to your station underground, and off you go. You would pay a few dollars for the ride, which would pay for the installation and operation of the tunnels, which Hill says wouldn't cost taxpayers anything to build. The Boring Company um, has expressed a willingness to fund the cost of installing the system in the destination. So it's affordable. The RTC supports the project. The initial phase is expected to be done in time for CES in 2021. When or if it will expand beyond the convention center remains to be seen. And I was working the phones a bit today, speaking with some of our elected officials, and uh, for the most part, a lot of support for this project. But privately, some had a few concerns. One of them, you heard that money issue addressed that that uh, the company would front the money if this were to become a broader public project. Uh, would it take away from projects like Maryland Parkway? I spoke with RTC head uh, Tina Quigley Bryan, and she assured us that this would not detract from any other projects that are underway here in Las Vegas. And Patrick, how long has Steve Hill and his team been looking at the Boring Company? Really, this has been underway, Brian, for about nine months since last June. They had uh, talked to them about the possibility of constructing something like this. In total, six companies uh, answered the RFP, the proposal the request for proposal for this project. But ultimately, on Friday, a panel chose the Boring Company to move forward. So the timeline on this has been going on a little bit longer, I think, than we were aware of. But uh, overall, this has come together, really, in the past couple of days. And quite an ambitious timeline as well. Wow, you're not kidding. Start this summer? Yeah. Wow. Thank you, Patrick. And we posted this story on our Facebook page. Here's what some of you are saying. Uh, Ray says, amazing how metropolitan areas that have thrived have the travel lanes underground. London, New York, Paris, Stockholm, even Beijing and Seoul. Robert, uh, Robert writes, I think taxpayer money would be better spent elsewhere. This sounds like a money pit that will never work. And then Melody chiming in with this, y'all go on ahead. <laughs> Not this claustrophobic. As always, if you want to join in on the conversation, look us up at Facebook at 8 News Now.